The aim of this lesson is to help Year 12 students choose a related text for the HSC area of study discovery that will enable them to compare and contrast the ideas, forms, language modes and features of their prescribed text. The process of choosing a related text can be quite daunting as there are simply so many texts to choose from. However, there is a great opportunity to choose a text that you enjoy which will also enable you to maximise your marks. This video will provide some easy to follow tips on how to do that. Some students struggle initially with the concept of what a related text is. I think of texts in the same way I think of people. I'm related to my mum, dad, brothers, sister, cousins, aunts and uncles. I'm like these people, we share a lot of things, but we are all intrinsically different. When I'm by myself, you may notice a few things about me. However, when you stand me side by side next to one of my relatives, you compare us, and then you start to make connections between us. It's the same with related text. I recommend you follow three steps when choosing your related text. Step one is to make sure you understand the themes of your prescribed text. Themes are ideas that recur in or pervade a piece of art or literature. I'd recommend focusing on themes that explore the human condition. The first thing that you need to do to identify the themes of your prescribed text is to read it multiple times. Every time you read it, you'll gain new insights. I love having my text on my iPad, as this allows me to make notes on the text, which are very easy to find when I'm writing an essay on the text or revising for an exam. I'm not doing an ad for iPad. Use Kindle phones, mobile phones, whatever works for you. Just make sure that your notes are as organised and ex as accessible as possible. During your readings, look for repetition. Important ideas and texts will be repeated. The next thing to do is to ask questions about the ideas. Is there a central idea or moral to the text? What was the composer's purpose in creating the text? Then, read as many critics' essays that analyse your text as you can. There will be some essays that you agree with and some that you disagree with. This is great. These essays will provide you with new insights, turns of phrase, or even just single words. As Picasso said, good artists copy, great artists steal. The final thing you can do is to Google your prescribed text. When I Google Robert Frost themes, I get 562,000 results. On the first page, there is an essay which asserts that Frost's suite of poetry contained four major themes. Theme one, an individual's relationship with himself. Theme two, an individual's relationship with other people. Theme three, an individual's relationship with the world. And theme four, an individual's relationship with God. These themes fit very comfortably into the discovery rubric, which reads, Discoveries and discovering can offer new understandings and renewed perceptions of ourselves and others. Texts have the potential to affirm or challenge individuals or more widely held assumptions and beliefs about aspects of human experiences and the world. The first text that leapt out at me as a potential related text of discovery is one of my favourite films, Into the Wild. The film certainly ticks the box that I will enjoy studying and writing about it, but does it share the same themes as the Robert Frost suite of poetry? Into the Wild certainly explores Christopher McCandless's journey of self-discovery. He is both Christopher McCandless and his alter ego, Alexander Supertramp. During the cyclical nature of the film, his past and present merge through a series of flashbacks and voiceovers, which reveals the domestic abuse that Christopher witnessed and suffered, Christopher's views on the meaning of life transforms throughout the film. Christopher's transformation centres on his relationship with the people around him. The film opens with his frayed relationship with his materialistic parents. This lack of connection that Christopher feels with his parents, who are obsessed with things, 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 is contrasted against the meaningful relationship that he enjoys with people during his travels. Although Christopher briefly flits in and out of each person's life, each person profoundly affects Christopher's view of the meaning of life, that happiness is only real when shared. This desire for companionship is a radical shift from Christopher's original worldview, 
The film is a real celebration of the transcendentalist belief that society corrupts the purity of the individual, and that individuals are at their best when they are truly self-reliant. Throughout the film, Christopher aspires to travel alone to Alaska, which represents the purity of nature unspoiled by mankind. In the film, spirituality and nature are intimately entwined. The composer emphasises this through his use of bird's eye angle shots and camera movement over the pristine Alaskan landscape that simulates the viewpoint of a spiritual being or God. And there you have it. I think that Into the Wild would work really well as a related text in conjunction with Robert Frost's poetry. Certainly, the central ideas of the text and how these concepts are represented by the composers provide plenty of material to explore and write about in essays. For this lesson, I focused on connecting the ideas or themes between Robert Frost's poetry and Sean Penn's film Into the Wild. For your study and essays, I'd also suggest that you explore the connections between the text's values and attitudes, context, and the purpose and the audience. I've put up a diagram that links the different ways that connection can be made between texts, which I think is valuable as a scaffold for your essay writing. The second step in choosing a related text is to choose an appropriate text type. There are seven main text types to choose from. Film, novel, short story, poem, play, song, and speech. You should make a list of all these text types. I'd strongly recommend choosing a related text that is different from your prescribed text. The discovery rubric states that students consider the way composers invite them to experience discovery through their text and explore how the process of discovering is represented using a variety of language modes, form, and features. The key word is variety. So the first thing I'd recommend doing is crossing out the text type of your prescribed text. Because my text type is the suite of Robert Frost's poetry, I cross out poem first. Now, I've also heard teachers suggest that unless you have a good knowledge of music, you should cross out song. Some students make the mistake of choosing a song as their related text and then only explore how the lyrics look at discovery. They don't talk about the instrumental component, the rhythm, the melody, the use of time, etc, etc, etc. Now, I don't suggest you rule out songs straight away, but if you want to use a song as your related text and you don't have a good understanding of music, you need to learn. Go and talk about your song with a music teacher or someone who knows a lot about music and learn how the composer uses different musical techniques to shape meaning. What I would recommend you do with your list is that you number the text types 1, 2 and 3. 1 being the text type that you would most like to use as a related text. I've chosen film as my number 1, Into the Wild being a film, um, novel is number 2 and play is number 3. Remember that when you are choosing related text for the other modules, continue varying the text types. Make your related text all different types, hence the 1, 2, 3 scoring system. It is essential that you know the specific features of your text types. When talking about Robert Frost poetry, you need to be aware of meter, rhyme, figurative language, sound devices, form, tone, style, etc. When writing about Sean Penn's film Into the Wild, you need to understand mise-en-scene, camera shots, camera angles, camera movement, costume, lighting, music, sound, dialogue, etc. However, you need to avoid simply listing the techniques. It's not enough to recognise that Frost is using a metaphor. You have to explain how the use of this metaphor invites the responder to experience discovery. The final step for you to consider when you're choosing a related text is literary merit. Literary merit is something that is quite controversial. It is the idea that Shakespeare is more valuable, has more literary merit, than Home and Away. I'm not going to get drawn into this argument in this video. The simple reason why it's important for you to choose a related text that has literary merit is that the majority of HSC markers will view some texts as being more valuable than others, and this will influence the marks you receive. Finding a text with literary merit isn't too hard. I've got a few tips for you to use, and I'll include some links in the comment section below um, to some of the sites that I mentioned. If you're choosing a film for your related text, I'd recommend you Google films that have won the Oscar for Best Picture, 
score films that have won the Oscar for the best original screenplay or the Time Magazine list of all time top 100 films or if you're more into independent and foreign films Google Grand Prize winners of the Cannes Film Festival. If you're interested in writing in choosing a novel with literary merit, you can Google Best Novels or the Time Magazine list of all time top 100 novels or the Man Booker Prize winners. Or you can check out works by Julian Barnes, Colin McCann, Tim Winton, Richard Flanagan, Gail Jones, J.D. Salinger, Khaled Hassani, and Colm Tobin. All these authors have written beautiful novels that explore the concept of discovery in spiritual, physical, intellectual, creative, and emotional ways. If you are interested in choosing a short story with literary merit, I have two suggestions. The first suggestion is that you Google the Frank Connor International Short Story Award. This will provide you with a great range of short stories to choose from. The second suggestion is to choose one of Tim Winton's short stories from returning. Winton's short stories are all great related texts. If you're considering poetry as your related text, you can Google Griffin Poetry Prize winners or Best Poets of All Time. Basically, any poetry written by T.S. Eliot, Samuel Taylor Coleridge, John Keats, Emily Dickinson, Lord Byron, William Blake, William Wordsworth, Maya Angelou, Sylvia Plath, John Dunn, John Milton, Rudyard Kipling, Emily Browning, or Alfred Tennyson will drip with literary merit. So choose them, but just make sure the poem you choose isn't a prescribed text. Personally, I think plays are a great option to choose as a related text. When it comes to literary merit, you obviously can't go past the bard, Shakespeare. However, there are plenty of wonderful Australian playwrights, David Williamson, uh, Lewis Nowra, Patrick White, Joanna Murray-Smith, Nick Enright, Dorothy Hewitt and Ray Sewell, just to name a few. You can also Google Best Australian Playwrights, and my apologies to any that I've missed. Plays are meant to be watched, not read. So try and choose a play that is being performed during your HSC year. As you're watching the play, think about the decisions that the director has made that shape your experience of discovery as a member of the audience. Try and make sure that you make your related text original. This means avoid choosing texts that are commonly chosen as related texts or commonly studied during years 7 to 10. But remember, if in doubt, ask your teacher. Under no circumstances, choose a text that is currently prescribed in any HSE English course. This is easy to check out, so make sure you do. And that's it. You've made it. So you've chosen a related text and I've provided a checklist for you to make sure that it fits the criteria that I've covered in this lesson. Does your related text explore the same elements of the human condition as the prescribed text? Is your related text a different form to your prescribed text? Do you know the text specific features of your related text? Does your related text have literary merit? And is your related text not a prescribed text for any HSC English course? If your response is yes to all these questions, then I think you have chosen a fantastic related text. If you answered no to any of these questions, then I would recommend choosing another related text or raising your concerns with your teacher. As the orchestra music begins to play, the final thing for me to do is to wish Year 12 students all the best with their studies and exams. Thanks so much for watching.